to calibrate a conventional pH meter, we want to turn the meter on with a little switch here, get our buffer solution. Um, we're going to calibrate first to pH 7. These are undyed buffer solutions, but the nicer ones are actually dyed with different colors, so it's easier to tell which is which. We want to soak the electrode for the meter for an hour or two before we make our measurements to let the glass hydrate. We want to do that either in tap water or in pH electrode conditioning solution. To make the measurement of calibration, we want to take the electrode, the meter, out of the tap water lot, rinse in the deionized or distilled water lot, and go into our calibration solution. We want to wait for the uh, meter, the reading, to stabilize. This meter has two calibration screws, one for pH 7 and one for pH 10 or 4. Since we're working below a pH of 7, we'll be calibrating to the 4 solution. Once our reading has stabilized, we're reading about 6.8988, 6.9. We turn the calibration screw until we get it to pH 7. So here we're at 7.0. We go back into our tap water to rinse the electrode. We'll now calibrate to pH 4. And I like to write the pH on the cups as well. We're out our calibration buffer. Again, coming out of the tap water, blot, distilled deionized water, blot, into the calibration solution. Again, wait for the reading to stabilize. And this time we'll be using the adjusting screw. We'll be calibrating to pH 4. So we're at 4.0706. We put the screwdriver in the second calibration slot. And they were at 4.00. And so the meter is calibrated. Again, we want to keep it in tap water um, between measurements and always rinse in distilled water or deionized water before we take a measurement. There are a couple other style pH meters. We always want to get a pH meter that calibrates to two decimal points. There is the, this style HANA meter, which is currently the cheapest on Amazon.com. This calibrates with a dime in these two little wells. Uh, again, the upper one is pH 7, the lower one is pH 4 or pH 10. This is another style of meter. This one, again, goes to two decimal points. The electrode isn't quite as small. Again, we have the glass measuring electrode and the little reference electrode. And this one is actually pre-programmed to calibrate. You More or less like the Hariba meter, you push the on-off button and calibrate go into different calibration modes.